Welcome back guys to another Diablo 4 video and in this video we're going to go over some consistent ways on how to retrieve cinders. Yes, you might have your own ways in retrieving them, but I'm just going to go over the basics if you're new to it or if you kind of want some more ways of getting them, we will go over that. Now, to start off with Fenros and Screaming Hellvanes, which are rare to find in Helltide, but in Apparently, I have found them consistently throughout this Helltide. For some reason, I got really lucky. But they do, but they do drop an exceptional amount of cinders, which you know is helpful. Now, you might want to, you might skip events or skip mobs, and but in Helltide, you do not want to skip much of anything. You can go around and try to look for events, but if there, you can't find one after like I'd say 10 seconds or so, go and kill mobs in front of you. Just kill everything. Now you can wait kill mobs around an event area events will respawn in the same area amazingly that's how it works but it normally takes like five minutes i don't know if the timers are different in helltide or not but like i said just go around kill a lot of things go look for elites just go look for anything you could possibly do in a helltide event and do them now uh, i will say as a secondary kind of tip that i never knew until i actually encountered it was an event that wasn't actually on the map i just walked around for a while looked around and i found these two uh, mobs just sitting there near a jar and it's an event called Jar of Souls, which wasn't on my mini map at all. But when I killed those two mobs, they pretty much spawned an event and was a pretty good event. So now the reason why I want you to, to do events is there are a lot of mobs that spawn and a lot of mobs that spawn, which means more cinders. Now in a Helltide event, if you do come across the Helltide Assassin, you can kill, you can go and kill it if you want. If you're a high enough level or you have a good gear, but I'd kind of, if you're looking for cinders in general, I'd just kind of like skip it and go for cinders as much as possible. As I mentioned, the most important thing about the Helltide event is literally killing everything. So events and mobs are your most important two things you can kill and do while in the Helltide event to accumulate cinders. It might seem like a slow process at first, but eventually you will get enough cinders to open a chest whether 75 cinders or 125 cinders may seem like a lot but it does come by fast when you're doing a lot of events uh, consistently and consecutively also as a pro tip when you die in a helltide event you will lose cinders so make sure you stay alive and have a decent amount of survivability but guys i do hope you enjoyed this video and some tips on how to get cinders at least kind of quick but consistently at the same time and i'll see you in the next one peace